Okay, so I want to find the measure of this arc, kg. Well, since this is the central angle that creates this arc, this expression both represents the measure of this central angle and the measure of that arc. So the measure of arc kg will be represented by x plus 138. I don't really need that degree there. So because this looks like a diameter and it does say we can assume that lines that appear like di diameters are diameters, then that means that the sum of these two arcs here should add to 180 degrees. So the measure of kg plus the measure of kj equal 180 degrees. Well, let's represent, um, let's substitute in the expressions that represent each of these things. So 138 and plus this is x plus 48 equals 180. And I'm going to drop the degree symbol for now just to, uh, for simplicity's sake. So let's combine my like terms. So I got 2x plus 186 equals 180. Let's subtract 186 from both sides, so I'll get negative 6. And x is equal to negative 3 by dividing both sides by 2. Um, now, don't let the fact that this is negative throw you off. We can have x be negative because it doesn't represent the actual measure of any one of these angles. It just represents x that will be used to determine the measure of these angles and the measure of these arcs. Now, remember, we said the measure of arc kg was x plus 138. Now we know x, so I'm just going to substitute this in. So negative 3 plus 138. So x is, I'm sorry, uh, the measure of arc kg is equal to 135 degrees.